What's going on, people? This is Jagos, and I wanted to sit here and talk about EA, which has been just fucking up left and right. I really cannot believe it, and I didn't plan to make a video on this, but the fact that there's been so much going on and going down today is just amazing to me. Now, number one, the big thing that has been going on is the Dungeon Keeper issue, where basically if you try to rate the game anything below a 5, EA pretty much just says, no, we we just want your 5, we just want your highest rated score, and then you can move on. While the internet is talking about that, they've also created this as a pay-to-win game instead of a pay to or a free-to-play game. Which, I mean, for the most part, let's just be very honest, I only buy EA games on a very, 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 very deep discount. Like, I bought Mass Effect 1 and 2 when it was 5 bucks. So, EA, for the most part, doesn't really get a lot of my money. They get, like, cheap sales, and even then, I, buy, bought, I don't buy any of my games brand new from EA. I mean, because SimCity, SimCity 4 is far superior than Sim Shitty, which was a huge fiasco for last year. I can't believe that they didn't figure this stuff out. I'm trying to fig. well, I have an inkling of an idea of why they're doing the things the way they do. It's because of their hierarchical structure, but that's another argument for another time. I plan to sit here and talk about that later on. Now, on top of what has been going on in regards to the, the Dungeon Keeper fiasco, there's also the fact that the PVZ fiasco has been kind of coming up. Now, what is going on here is the fact that with the new release of the Dungeon Keeper series, they've also decided to go and make a new update to the Plants vs. Zombies. The good thing is, you get a new boss. One of the snow powers is replaced, is replacing the, um pinch power which was rarely um worked into the game now for disclosure i play plants vs zombies one i keep to it i like that game i've never played plants vs zombies two because of everything that i've heard about the game but given that it's just an ios game and everything else the good news is there's a zomb there's a zomb boss that comes up in each level the bad news is you're going to have to pay a shit ton for the lawnmowers that you lose where you have it costs about 2,000 coins, which is pretty much a lot of coins and a lot of time. And you have to sit here and rebalance, unless you rebalance the coin accumulation, which <laughs> EA trying to sit here and make less money and exploit less people. Yeah, that's not happening. But. Have no fear. If you have five Facebook friends, you're going to be able to invite them to the um, to the party. And what's going to happen there is basically that's how you get up 200,000 coins to sit here and constantly replace your coins. It's basically a game exploit. And EA is trying to sit here and either advertise to your friends or they're trying to sit here and make more money from you, which is fucking ridiculous. But... This is what they decided to do. So all of that crap that they try to say about being trying to sit here and be a better company. I mean, <laughs> it ain't happening. Mirror's Edge 2, that's to be continued. Let's see. Mass Effect 3 is still not on Steam. Fuck you for that. Um, Sim Shitty Fiasco and the DRM and everything else and all the other bullshit that's been going on there. I mean, I don't even want to get into that one. I just bought SimCity 4 because it's on a deep, deep $5 discount plan. I mean, it was $5. I, I wasn't going to turn that up. Turn, I, I'll be honest with you. But in terms of paying for their games at $60 or paying the free-to-play, that ain't happening. I'm not paying $60 for any of their games. And the Origin system can kiss my butt. Then on top of that, you have to factor in the Battlefield 4, um, which was pretty much a rush job. And what the hell is DICE doing? Now, let's take this into consideration. DICE is supposed to be working on Mirror's Edge 2. And they can't even get Battlefield 4 right. 
And then they have to sit here and patch the damn thing so that way it can actually run decently on all of the system, all of the uh, PS3, PS4, and the Xbox One. So EA is seriously going through a lot of shit. And that's probably going to be one of my videos in the near future to sit here and compare EA to Valve and tell you and explain to you what is going on here. I just wanted to do this quick video to kind of sit here and explain what has been going on today. Let people understand what has been going on. And it's just absolutely ridiculous that they cannot figure out what in the fuck they're doing. So that's all I had to say about this. I'll see you all next time and take care YouTube.